The world's biggest social network, Facebook, wants you to know it can do small as well, namely the small screen. Kevin Seistrom, CEO of the mobile photo sharing service Instagram, acknowledges it's part of the reason his company of only 16 people was bought by Facebook this past year for around $715 million. You know, Mark and I both see a future where Instagram provides a whole lot of value to Facebook as an independent brand as well because I think that people understand that Instagram is associated with this mobile device, that it's a photos only network and I think that that's part of why they were so excited about having Instagram inside is that it is a mobile network. That's a sentiment Facebook's director of platform partnerships Justin Osofsky is keen to echo. If you look at kind of how we're evolving our mobile products, Facebook has become a mobile first company. Facebook recently announced it planned to combine user data with Instagram, eventually bowing to public pressure to hold a vote on the proposed changes. An Austrian student group says it plans to take Facebook to court to try to get it to do more to protect the privacy of users. It's really important that people trust their experience on Facebook. That's the cornerstone of what we do. And so the changes that we're making are consistent with those principles. I think what people have to remember is that we always have the best intentions in mind for everyone and that... Um, Data sharing is not something that we focus on in the morning when we wake up and we get to work. We're not like, how do we get data to go from one place to the other? We're simply trying to make the services better. Meanwhile, Berlin's SoundCloud, referred to by some as the YouTube of audio, announced it was refreshing its service with new discovery and sharing tools. CEO Alexander Leong says the hope is that the changes will make the service more appealing to a wider variety of users. They get a reach of over 180 million people over the entire web through integrations into Tumblr, Twitter, through our mobile apps and everything like that. And it's 8% of the internet population. So next is a major step towards getting from 8% to a whole lot more. The trick, as always, is to build the platforms and services to keep users engaged so they don't move on to the next new thing.